guys welcome back to it another safest video i know we were on a short break and that is why i want to thank you even more today for your support for your patience and for your motivation i hope i can provide you the same at least a bit of it let's get back to our regular dsa practice i hope we continue practicing together until you are completely sure about being able to solve any dsa question that comes along i am here to clear all your doubts just show up every day i hope you are going to continue your love and support please do subscribe if you haven't yet and please do share the channel with your friends it will mean so much to me without wasting any more time let's get started with today's question so this is the question that we are going to do today we are given an array of n integers we have to find sums of all subsets in it so if you have watched the previous videos in the recursion playlist you will notice that this is a very very small variation of previous question that we have done and a lot of you will say that you know it is actually the exact same question uh, we have already done a question we are finding where we are finding all the subsets and we here we just have to find sums of the subsets so some of you might say that you know what we already know how to calculate all the subsets all we have to do is just find sums of all the subsets and return it but is that the most efficient way to do it so what we are going to do today is we are going to find the sums of the subsets without actually finding the subsets so that is what the question is about so let's get started so firstly what is a subset so if you see this is the array given to us here there are two elements 2 and 3 so basically we have to consider all the possibilities for each element there are two possibilities either to include the element or not to include the element so if you see there are two elements 2 and 3 suppose we decide to not include both the elements so the sum becomes zero right because there is no element in the subset so the sum becomes zero suppose we decide to include both the elements then the sum becomes 2 plus 3 which is 5 suppose we decide to include only one element that is either 2 or 3 then the sum becomes 2 and 3 right so again for each of the n elements there are two possibilities either to include the element or to not include the element and that is why the total number of subsets of any array is 2 power n because two possibilities for n uh, numbers right so 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 2 power n and that is why the number of subsets is also 2 power n and the time complexity in the space complexity that is expected is also 2 power n right so let's see how can we write the code without actually finding the subsets when we have to find the sums do we really need to find the subsets themselves see at every element we have two options either to include the element or to not include the element if we are including the element we will just add it to the sum if we are if we are not including the element then we will not add it to the sum it is as simple as that so let's try writing the code ourselves uh, because we are practicing after a short break that is why i have taken a very simple example which is a small variation of the questions that we have done earlier so that you get back to track with me uh, i hope this is helpful but i really hope most of you are able to solve the question yourself if not let me know in the comments what was the problem that you were facing uh, let's write the code let's begin writing our recursive function so we are not going to return anything so i'm returning void and we are going to call the function as helper function what all things do i need to pass to the function firstly whatever array i have i need to pass it right so you can either pass it by reference or pass it by value we are not making any changes to it so for now uh, to avoid any confusion i am passing it by value but we also have to store our result somewhere because we have to return the vector so i am going to store it in another vector and i am going to call it rs since i will be making changes to it i will call it uh, i will pass it by reference and we are going to consider all the elements one by one so we will be at any particular index so we need to pass that index also so i am calling that ind and i am also passing the size of the array i don't need to pass it i can keep calculating it but i am just passing it for now so that i don't have to calculate it again and again and what else do i need to pass if you have noticed in the previous videos we used to pass the current vector that we are dealing with here we don't have a current vector here what do we have we have a current sum because we are not storing the subset what are we storing we are storing the current sum of the subset so we are not going to calculate the subset at all we are not going to store it anywhere we are just dealing with the sum itself so suppose i am calling it current sum uh, i could have called it current but to avoid confusion i am calling it current sum uh and there is a spelling mistake over here let's try writing the code so for every element so for the element at index in this case we have two options either to include the element or to not include the element suppose we decide to include the element then what happens we call the function again and this time we pass the array we pass the res 
but we pass the next index because in the next recursive call i obviously go to the next index uh, and n is also as it is but what is the current sum this is the most important part here because i've decided to include the element whatever current sum was there in that i'm going to include the element at index so what am i going to do i am going to do current sum plus the value at index similarly we will write the exclude part exclude part is very clear because we don't have to change make any changes to the current sum all we have to do is just call the recursive function again for the next index so i am passing array i am passing res i am passing the next index i am passing n and i am passing the current sum as it is without making any changes to it see here again small things that you need to notice is that here what am i doing i am adding the uh, value and i am passing it but i am not making any changes to the current sum so i don't need to reset the value before calling the exclude part in some uh, questions that we have done earlier what we used to do we used to change the value that we were passing suppose uh, this was some uh, vector that we are making changes to so when we are calling this exclude part i need to pop back this element so some of you were getting confused whether we have to reset the value or not here we are not making any changes to current sum so i am not well, you know making any changes i don't need to reset the current sum value here i am just adding the value and passing it again so if you still have that little confusion i highly highly recommend you to pick up a pen and paper and to really draw the recursive tree to draw the recursive stack to visualize that how we are Uh, dividing a bigger problem to simpler problems and what are the values that we are passing okay so we have written our code for include and exclude part but obviously to avoid the stack overflow and to stop the recursion at some point we need to add the base condition what will be the base condition whenever i reach the index equal to n obviously i need to stop because uh, at index if i try to uh, get the array at n value obviously there is no uh, value right so what am i going to do i am going to put up a check over here that if index value is n i am going to return so i am stopping the recursion over here i have added the base condition but i also need to make sure that i am storing my answer somewhere right so what am i going to do i am going to push the sum inside this see so whatever were the possibilities of the current sum they will keep getting passed and we will store all of them in this res value we have written the recursive function let's call it and see whether it is working or not so we need to return back res so i am going to create a vector over here i am going to call it res and then i am going to call my helper function what all things do i need to pass i need to pass the array as it is i need to pass res where i am going to make the changes initial index is going to be zero from where i am going to get started the value of n i am given in the function otherwise i could have calculated it and passed it uh the current sum value initially will be zero because i am not including any elements right now and it will keep increasing as i include the elements so if you notice the exclude part if i keep excluding all the elements so 0 0 0 0 will be passed everywhere and in the end i'm going to push back zero so that will be this case similarly if i keep including all the elements that is i always keep including 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 i'm talking about like one entire branch of the tree you should be able to visualize as i'm saying as i am saying that you know what i am excluding all the elements you should be able to visualize that okay this is how the exclude branch is looking this is how the include branch is looking now that you have done so many recursion questions you should be able to visualize it yourself okay so these are the values that we have passed i am just going to return rs from here let's compile and see whether this works yep let's submit it I hope the video was helpful and you do remember the recursion concepts. If you are forgetting what we did in the previous questions, this is what happens to everyone. You can't like always remember the concept that you had solved once. It will come to you with practice, and you need to keep practicing like in even gaps of time. If you do regularly, and then there is a huge gap, you might forget the concepts, and it happens with everyone. But what is going to happen is the next time you pick it up, you just need to quickly revise it. You are not going to take that much time because you have already solved so many questions. So I am hoping you are going to show up tomorrow. Also, let me know your feedback. And if you have any doubts, let me know in the comments. I am here to clear all your doubts. See you tomorrow. Ta.